I think it's good. It looks okay. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack and I am sitting in the engine compartment. Well, one of the engine compartments. The reason being is because in the previous video, they took the old engines out. And they finally cleaned it, made it look nice, and I can sit here. This is like the only time I'm ever gonna be able to sit here. In fact, this is the first time I've ever sat here. It looks nice, the walls are clean, I can rub my hand on it and I don't get oil on my hands. It's really great. They're gonna be putting new engines in here, Yanmar 170 horsepower engines, I'm pretty sure, both sides. So that's what they're gonna be doing. Apparently they haven't done it yet because I'm here, so. Also, what do you think about this angle? I just bought this fisheye lens for $140. I've always wanted one, and now I've got one. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Enjoy the video. Mm. Hey. Oh! Yeah. I'm back! We met up with Luke again, and we had to go to Carlos Pina Vegas boat to do a sea trial in order to sell his boat. So that's where we're headed right now. Sit over there. Hiking poles? Do I need hiking poles? Stop. <laughs> 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 Pants me. <laughs> Oi! Hey! <laughs> It's like you lived with us for a month or something. <laughs> Two months. Yeah, it was more than one month because you came back. Better off in doo doo. Redemption. Hey, this is a new car. Should buy your slack line. Okay, I'm now filming on Uncle Jack's camera. Say what's up. What's up? Here we go. Okay. What's, what's up? up, guys? Oh, hold on. Where are we right now? On the boat right now. Uh, the boys decided that um, it's it's like 12.30 at night. We have to be up in six hours. And they decided that they wanted to go get uh, McDonald's or something, or Chick-fil-A. No, that's in the morning. So they're going to get food right now, then they're gonna come back, and then at 6 a.m. they're gonna wake up and leave it and go be at Chick-fil-A at 6.30 in the morning to get Chick-fil-A to bring back to the boat. And, and then we can take over the camera again. <laughs> and then we're gonna, so when they leave, okay, well we're gonna go to bed, um, and just just for the record, uh, for those of you watching, we uh, we really uh, we really love the uh, Zatara family. So Jack, you were awesome. Thank you so much for uh, being such a kind friend and being here for my family. Um, I, I owe you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we, we both just did that. All right, man, love you guys, bye. Whenever somebody's looking to buy a boat, the first thing they have to do is a sea trial. First, you haul the boat out and look for any irregularities on the hull, and then we take it out on the water. I'll explain more later. Carlos, what kind of boat is this? I don't even know. No, it's a, a Privilege 615. Uh, it's a copycat of Zatara. What oh. year was it built? Uh, 2007. Oh, oh yeah, ours is 2006, you're saying. Yeah, I literally uh, could not find a boat like yours, so I found the closest thing, the next mm. closest thing. Mm. Never you, sailed it, though. You just love us, don't you? So much, mm. so much. I, I hope that once I sell my boat, you know, we can still hang out. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. That'd be sweet. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. You know, Keith is like a father to me. Um, I'm not really close with my dad, uh, so it's been really nice to have Keith, um, you know, be like a dad yeah, to I'm me. I'm not a dad. I'm, I'm his friend. You know, it's kind of a, a haunting thing because I'm just starting to realize all the wrinkles in my dad and how old he actually is. And I'm thinking, man. All this time I've been a kid, he's been growing with me. His life didn't stop because I was born. He's getting older just as I'm getting older, and it's, my dad's old. He's getting old. Let's see you do it. Let's see. Three, two, up. That was actually really good. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Three for three. Oh, uh, use that one as a roving. Oh, you can you can probably tie that and take one of those off, because we only need fenders on this side, really. Oh, oh, pull that tight. Good man. Push, 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 push. Let's keep that off right there. In this situation, both the current and wind are not in our favor. They're pushing us onto the dock. 
I'm not sure what the guys on the other side are doing. They should be holding the lines tight to prevent this from happening. But me and Finn and Chris are right here pushing the boat off. We're getting it done. Heave, man! Yeah. Heave it off! Okay, we gotta get a fender here. Yeah, you can get a fender up here. Yeah, you need an Hey, Finn, Finn, would you throw that line for him? Careful, Keith. Yeah, we're good now. He's got a line on both sides of the boat. Okay, sweet. Okay, Finn, we gotta be on point with this. He's still got your butt set off. Okay. Thank you guys. Hey, your dad just. Did you go right here? Just, I mean, like you have no idea. I don't want to talk smack about those guys on the dock, but they didn't do as good as they could. No, 100%. He did pretty good though. Hey, good maneuver, dad. Good stuff. So now all we got to do is a sea trial with the boat. That's technically what we're doing. We just inspected it. We got to raise the sails, take everything out, go for. I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, make sure everything's in shape. And then we're back, and that's it. It is currently 10 o'clock. Should be out of here by, I wanna say 12, maybe one. Oh my gosh, it's a bit rough. We're exiting the channel, but I just wanted to show you guys of what it looks like. So basically this boat is just an updated model of our boat because they watch our YouTube channel and they're like, okay, this is the boat we want. We wanna get the boat Zotara has, so they did. But they got the newer version and the bigger version. So it looks great. This is the galley and it looks phenomenal. Now up here in this room, this is our kite room. This is where we put all our kites and stuff. And he put a desk and a chair. I think that's so cool. I would have loved to have a desk in my room. And they put both a washer and a dryer on the boat. We only have a washer, so we have to hang our clothes out on the line. But they got both of them. Let me talk about the living room right now, the saloon. It is way more spacious in here than our boat is. They don't have a table, and I just, I really like the way it looks. You gotta have a lot of space to do, a lot of things you want. The cockpit looks great too, it's a little different than our boat, and they have okay. a flybridge, which is my favorite part. All a flybridge is, is they put the bridge of the boat on the top deck, so you can see everything. I like it. All right. All right. You got everything? Yep, I'm good. We need to get directions pulled up though. By the way, Luke, thanks for letting me and Kenzie <laughs> drive your truck around. We've been having a good time. Mm -hmm. The reason we're in Luke's truck going to pick them up, in fact, is because they did a little excursion. They did a three-day hike through the muddy swamps of the Everglades. So slushy. That's warmed up. It's pretty neat. It's pretty different to what I'm used to. All right, four more days left. Shoes a little bit wet. Just a little bit. It's not that bad though. These gators are kind of like, kind of nice actually. They might look goofy, but. Yo, you made it. Dude, how was it? Good! Bro, let's go, dude. Dude, that was intense. You guys <laughs> tired? Oh, yeah. Dude, we look different from when we entered the trail. You have a little more stubble, but that's about it. <laughs> you have stubble, too. Look at that. You have changed so much. It's with alligators. Crazy. You said you saw snakes and an alligator, bro? Five snakes, on one alligator, like, two snakes. On the actual animals. trail. Yeah, the alligator's on the last mile, you said. Last mile. Bro. God, it spooked the hell out of him. Dude, dude. dude. my heart rate was <laughs> jumping. Whoa, 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 whoa! He actually wasn't like that, but uh, the first thing that scared us big time was probably this water moccasin. Hey, it was it, it a big moccasin? Caught, cotton mouth. Cotton oh, mouth? Cotton dude. Mouth. It was right in the, we saw a couple, this was like one of the last ones we saw, but it was right in our trail like yep. the alligator, and it got mad. It was like, <sighs> I think there's maybe Bro. some footage of it. After that, we got some pizza from the local pizzeria and listened to some live music. It was overall a good time, 10 out of 10. I 
So we set up base camp. Luke is sleeping in his tent. Finn in the hammock. The light's a little bright. Me and Ken's are gonna be sleeping in back of the car. Hi. Yeah, it's gonna be good. There's so many bugs out here, but for the first time, I saw lightning bugs or fireflies. I've never seen those before. We're in Everglades City right now, and there is there's no lack of mosquitoes. I put bug spray on them, but the bugs are crazy. Can you guys see those? Are you kidding me, bro? My phone. Look at look at it on the camera, dude. Yo, can you see it? Yeah, dude. So here's the setup we got. We go in here. Ooh, you got it. Wait, let me. Coming in. Gah. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many bugs. So many bugs this in here. This is right not going to be good. Oh. The good thing about them is they're on the ceiling, so you can swat them easily. But what's better is that after you swat them, they fall down, so you're sleeping in. <laughs> sleeping in a lot of bugs. So, really quickly, while I have your attention, I just wanted to say I'm not going to text you on Telegram. For those of you who are getting contacted by me on Telegram, I don't use Telegram. I've never heard of it until people texted me saying I am texting them on telegram that's not me I don't use telegram the only thing I'll be contacting you on is Instagram YouTube comments and that's it I do have a whatsapp but I that's like a private my private thing that I message my family with so you surely shouldn't be texting me on there if it is you'll know it's me don't reply to me if it's on telegram oh man I've been replying though <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not giving out any MacBook Pros, laptops, any of that. So, bye bye. Smile away, boys. Smile, Smile away. away.